The aggrieved caterers say the increase in food prices on the market are part of the reasons why the government must increase the feeding grant. They explain that the price of gari, which used to go for six Ghana cities, is being sold at 25 Ghana cities, whilst a 50 kilogram bag of rice has moved up from 160 Ghana cities to 270 Ghana cities. They also lament that prices of eggs, fish, meat, and cooking oil have also gone up astronomically. Among other things, the angry caterers are also calling on the government to ensure that all areas due them are paid to enable them execute their duties. Last week, the government disbursed an amount of 160 million Ghana cities to pay caterers under the Ghana School Feeding Program for the first term of the 2020-2021 academic year. However, at a press conference in Accra on Tuesday, the caterers said some of them are yet to be paid. They are therefore calling on the president to intervene. It's been going on. We've been swallowing it all this while. But this time round, the new gender minister, Honorable Sarajua Safodie, her own is worse. Up to now, we don't even know where she's located, whether she's in the country or out of the country. She doesn't do anything about school feeding. And you call her for meeting, she won't come. She will also not call you for meeting. She, she doesn't talk to us on anything. The, the payments can delay. We worked since January, and we were paid just last 25th of this month. When it's two weeks to school, uh, for school to resume, before we were paid. So please, we are pleading with the government to either sit the honorable down, or she will have to go for a different person to come. Especially the increments of the uh, feeding, the school feeding grant, we wanted three cities. We, the KHS says we wanted three cities. If not, next week school resumes on the 7th, we are not going nowhere to cook. If they want to sack all the cages, they should do so. But they should bear in mind, if they touch one caterer, they've touched all the whole caterers in the whole country. Things are very expensive. You go to the market these days, you can't even, you can't even buy. And why should we go and buy cheap uh, 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 things for the children? Some people will go and buy rotten tomatoes, rotten uh, onions. But we cannot do that because we are thinking about the health of the children. One CD per pupil. One CD. Who gives a child one CD a day? You only had almost 700 bakery. About the whole of first time, I could only week. Then on, I pay for me. I pay me. I pay she me. I pay 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 percent <laughs> Enya bi nya duane pama enkwara no eni pese caterers ni bi adwuma no na se aduane ne nya da ehu kompre nu timi kwa chiri saa ebi onso ana nya ne pe o twa ne ho ba bi antwa wade wa fifri ade a ma wonya ske ntua sika no so enso aduane no yo no ade a memen fi ade a ye ne saa na chese ekofa asam de aba eti esrao mr president fa ho gi man Visited my ward in the school. I wonder that no. When I saw my ward, in fact, I realized that no, there is a problem with the feeding. And when I ask, he said that this is what is happening. They have not been getting enough food. I wonder that has become very slim. And I know it's because of uh, mal malnutrition. The GDS should speak the truth and let the government know that things are not working. It should speak the truth. A parent sharing the plight of his ward at one of the public schools. He's obviously not happy with what his ward is being fed. His concern is in reaction to a denial by the Director General of GES that there are no food shortages across public second cycle schools. Our records as of now do not show that there is any food shortage in the schools to the extent that the schools have to close down. We don't have that records. Our record shows that 
there is food in the schools. Occasionally, you may get a school, or you may get a, um, yes, a school or head. But they have the numbers and the contacts of the buffer stock. They have their own arrangements with them. Sometimes you also hear from the suppliers that they take the food there and they say that oh, our, our, our storage is so small that instead of 10 bags, give us 5 bags and come and all those kind of things. There are occasional delays here and there, but our records generally does not show that there is food security to the extent that schools may have to close down. On the contrary, there appears to be a shortage of food. The account of one of the parents revealed that this is compelling authorities to stick to a repetitive menu. pre tertiary teacher unions who corroborated this had this to say on the development. The condition under which our children are learning in our SHS and other and also in the basic schools, it is not the best. And there's something needed to be done. And that is exactly is the I mean is the situation. I am happy that uh, my parents and students and all those who have had an encounter with the issue are sending you message. So please, as a matter of agency, let us all work towards it and get it done now. And the duty bearer should stop defending and putting and the kind of posture being put up. It will not help anybody. See, the the issue is that uh, we have what we call the perishables that should cook with the food. It, it varies from one place to the other. It varies from one place to the other. So when you do, in fact, the kind of uh, samples that I have, uh, uh, what they call data, have we gathered from most of the schools across the region. For some people, it has to do with the, the perishables. And for some people, it has to do with the staples and uh, itself, among other things. There are about 1,000 public second cycle schools across the country and, per the account of the teacher unions, the problem is gaining grounds across these schools. However, the Ministry of Education has denied the development. My reference and my checks with the GES reveal that, as of now, no school in Ghana is suffering from short, short shortage of food in any form. So far as my, my checks with the Ghana Education Service, that is the agency responsible for these schools, they confirm that as of now, there is no school. But I'm saying that, I mean, while that is confirmed, we are also not negating the feedback that your medium and your platform gave us. I mean, I mean, you are, it's a human institution. For instance, if you raise issues bordering on quality, for instance, it is a possibility. If you raise issues bordering on quantity, for instance, it is a possibility. My name is Kojo Achman, reporting for City News.